Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio, and in this video, we're gonna look at 10 Mixbus tips you didn't know. So tip number one is show automation lane on touch. And this is a very helpful feature when you're doing any kind of automation here in Mixbus. So let me give you an example. Usually you can click on A, click on fader or trim or mute or any other kind of automation that you want and have to draw things in. But if you want a shortcut to get to this faster, you can turn on this feature. So if we go up to edit, then go down to show automation lane on touch. Now literally anything we touch, whether that's a pan knob, mix bus send, fader, anything within a plugin, it just automatically shows an automation lane for, and you can get to automating really fast. So for example, if I touch the fader on the master bus, you can see there's my automation lane. Now if I choose heavy guitar and touch the pan knob, I could put this in write mode and now write some pan automation. The next tip is basic zooming in Mixbus. And this is really, really easy. With the smart mode turned on, you have a range tool on the top half of a region or a grab tool on the bottom half of a region. And by simply dragging a range, you can make your range selection, then hit the Z key on your keyboard, and that will zoom in to that spot. And then to go back to the previous zoom state, you can choose Shift Z, and now you're back to where you were. So I can select over here, hit Z. Okay, I can do some editing, I can do whatever. Shift Z to go back. Maybe I wanna zoom in on this vocal down here. So Z on your keyboard to zoom, and then Shift Z to go back to the previous zoom state. The next tip is making a region transparent. And as you see here on this background vocal track, I have multiple regions stacked on top of each other. One way to make a region transparent is to right click, and go to Gain, and then Opaque. And Opaque basically means that it obscures anything that's below it, but a transparent region actually allows the top layer and any layer below it to be played and heard at the same time. And you can see the shortcut for this is Control Zero. So by knowing that, I can do Control Zero. So now you can see the layers below the top layer are grayed out and they will not be heard. But if I make the top layer transparent by hitting Control Zero again, the bottom layers are now visible and I can hear all of them at the same time. The next tip is slip editing, and this is great for lining up any kind of regions that you want as far as background vocals, guitar parts, drum parts, or really anything that you need to edit on your timeline. So in this example, I want to make the beginning of this region line up with the one above it. So in order to do a slip edit, you need to hold down Shift and Command or Shift Control on a PC, and then click, and you'll see that the mouse cursor changes to a double arrow now you can slip and slide the waveform within the region. Okay, heading over to the mixer, we can assign tracks to a bus while also simultaneously taking them out of the master bus. So this is particularly fast when you have certain tracks within a group and you wanna assign all those tracks within the group to a bus all at one time, but also take them out of the master bus. So what we can do is hold command on a Mac or control on a PC and as we click on the background vocal bus here for these background vocals, you can see that the master down here is going to also be unassigned. And the reason why you want to do this is if you send a track to a bus and it's also going to a master bus, you'll be doubling the volume and essentially sending the signal to two different destinations. And that is not always desirable unless you're doing some kind of parallel compression trick. This next tip is to click the spill button on your buses to show and hide certain tracks. Using the spill button at the bottom of every bus, you can now show and hide all your drums, your bass, your acoustic guitar, electric guitars, and lead vocals, and your background vocals. So this makes it very easy to show and hide your tracks in the mix review while keeping your mix buses open and only seeing the tracks that you wanna work on at that time. This next Mixbus tip is literally to right click on everything. 
So what we can do here is we can right click on the mutes, on the solos. You can right click on the track and bus name. You can right click on a region and have all kinds of options to trim, make things opaque and transparent. You can right click on a track header to change the color, add a comment, change the inputs and outputs, change the view of the layers from overlaid to stacked, make a new playlist or copy a playlist. There's literally all kinds of options that you can get to just by right clicking. This next mix bus tip is to use an insert on your master bus to listen to reference tracks. So first thing I'm gonna do is import something from my desktop here. Okay, so you can see our reference track here on the bottom of our screen. And now going to my master bus, I'm gonna right click and choose new insert. And then double click on that. And now for the return and the input, so we can go to the tracks tab and I can click on the left and the right to make sure it's stereo. After you've inserted the track, make sure that this track is not assigned to the master bus. So now as long as your insert is turned on, you can hear your reference track. And now if I bypass the insert, I'm gonna hear the actual song in my session. The next mix bus tip is to group select regions. We can use a keyboard shortcut, Command G, to group your regions together. This is great for anything that say, for example, I want these two regions to always be moved together in one unit, but I don't want to bounce or consolidate the regions just to make them act as one region. So now by hitting Command G, I can move these back and forth and now they are acting as one region. I can also go as far as selecting other regions and putting those in the group. So now I can move all four of these regions at once. To undo this, you just simply do Shift Command G or Shift Control G on a PC. And then the last mix bus tip is drag and drop tracks. So all you have to do is click on the track header name and just start dragging up and down wherever you want. So if you want to take all your drums and move them down, you can. If I want to take some electric guitars here and move those up here, it's simple and easy to do with drag and drop. So thanks guys for watching. I hope these tips were helpful to you. And be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of tips you want to see in the next Mix Bus Tips video. So as always, I'm Nathan from Harrison Audio and I'll see you in the next video.